This video is about vertical and horizontal stretches and compressions. A vertical stretch or compression means that it looks like someone is stretching your graph from the top and the bottom. Vertical is up and down. So it looks like the graph is being stretched up and down or compressed from the top and the bottom. Horizontal is left and right. So a horizontal stretch or compression is going to look like someone is stretching your graph from the left and the right or compressing your graph from the left and the right. Hopefully once I show you the graphs, it'll make a little more sense. But these two notations are what you need to know when applying either a vertical or horizontal stretch or compression to your function. Now, if it is vertical something, it can either be stretch or compression, vertical something, you're just going to multiply the function by whether it's a vertical stretch or compression factor. And then with a horizontal stretch or compression, those are usually a little more involved. You actually need to make sure that the factor is being applied to your x values, and it's actually the reciprocal of the factor. Now again, if you're completely lost, I'm going to go over some examples, so hopefully it makes more sense once you see this in action. I'm going to start with the vertical stretch or compression. These are a little bit easier. So again, a vertical stretch or compression looks like the graph is being stretched from the top and the bottom. Your y values are what are going to be stretched up and down. So if there's a vertical stretch by a factor of 2, this was my notation from the last slide. A in this case is 2. A is just the letter they use to represent how far it's being stretched. Don't worry about the letter. It's just there to represent vertical stretch or compression. So if it's a vertical stretch of 2, that means 2 is being multiplied by all of my y's, right? y is up and down f of x is the same thing as y, so that, that's why we're multiplying y by 2. Now, my parent function is f of x equals x squared, so when I apply this vertical stretch of 2, I am multiplying the entire function by 2. So this is 2 times x squared. And I can't really do anything to simplify this. So it's just 2x squared. Since I have applied a transformation, I'm going to rename it. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to say that g of x is 2x squared. So that means f of x has been vertically stretched by a factor of 2. Similarly, with a vertical compression, it's the same steps. I'm multiplying all of my y's by one half, which means I'm multiplying all of f of x by one half. f of x is x squared, so I'm just replacing f of x with x squared. And again, there's nothing to do to simplify this, so it's just one-half x squared. And you can call it whatever you want. These are the graphs of both of those equations that I just found. So the red is the original function f of x. That's your parent function f of x equals x squared. The black parabolas are the stretches and compressions. So on the left, you can see that it looks like someone 
took this screen and started to stretch it from the top and the bottom, which caused that function to look like it got stretched up and down. So you can see that it's narrower. This is a vertical stretch. On the right with my vertical compression, picture someone coming from the top and the bottom of your screen and just pressing on the screen. So it's gonna get scrunched up. It's being compressed by something. So that red graph is becoming the black graph because it looks like someone squished it a little. So it's actually getting wider because when you push from the top and the bottom, it's got nowhere to go but to the sides. Now I will demonstrate horizontal stretch and compression. I told you guys that this one can be a little tricky for some people. So just be careful when you see that word horizontal. This was the notation from that first slide. B is the letter they use for the factor. You can use A if you want, it doesn't matter. Just know that two is my horizontal stretch factor. So replacing B with the stretch factor of two, I have this notation, F of one half X. This notation is telling me that all of the X's in my original function F need to be replaced with one half X. So the X that I just number lined up top is becoming one half X and so is the other X. So instead of X squared, you're replacing it with one half X squared. I cannot stress enough how important these parentheses are. If you don't put the parentheses, you're going to have the wrong answer. You're plugging in one half X together. The one half is acting on the X. They need to stay together. So I'm going to simplify this by squaring the one half and squaring the X because an exponent of two is really just one half X times one half X. It means that you have two of those items in the parentheses being multiplied together. So one half squared is the same thing as one squared over two squared. So one half squared is one fourth, and then x squared is x squared. So this is our equation of the quadratic parent function with a horizontal stretch of a factor of two. Again, if you didn't include those parentheses, you're going to have the wrong answer because one half x squared is incorrect. You need to make sure that you're squaring everything that you plugged in. So with the horizontal compression, I'm going to do the same thing with the one half. Now you may be looking at this like, what the heck? Why do you have a fraction inside of a fraction? This looks awful. This really isn't that bad. I'm going to demonstrate how to figure this out. And then I'll tell you just a trick to remember how to deal with this. So if you have one over something or anything over anything, a fraction is really just division. So think of this as one divided by one half. One over one half is just division. Now, hopefully you've heard of keep, change, flip before. That's what I'm going to do. I keep the one, I change the division to multiplication, and I flip the one half to become two over one. One times two over one is just two. So this is really just f of 2x. So the shortcut for this is you just find the reciprocal of that fraction. One over anything is an indication that you're just finding the reciprocal. So if it's horizontal, one half, flip it, it becomes two.
horizontal of four fifths. You flip it, it becomes five over four. But if you don't really trust yourself with that yet, you can still just do keep change flip every time to make sure that you have the right number in there. So just like before, the two X in the parentheses means that I am replacing every X in the function F with two X. And just like before, parentheses are so important. So instead of having x squared, I have parentheses 2x squared, which is the same thing as 2x times 2x. That becomes 4x squared. So again, the parentheses change that drastically. 2x squared would not be the correct answer. It's 4x squared. And then here are the graphs. Horizontal stretch means it looks like someone is taking your computer screen and stretching it from the left and the right. So the red is the original graph. It looks like someone took your computer and stretched it left and right to form that black parabola. That would be a horizontal stretch. Similar with the horizontal compression, someone is going to the sides of your, of your computer and pushing it in from the left and the right. So that red parabola is becoming the black parabola. It looks like someone came in and pushed it from the sides. That would be a horizontal compression. 